$25,000. That's how much homeowners in one of Fisher's neighborhood will have to pay to improve their neighborhood. That means monthly dues for residents in one community will soon nearly double. It's an update to a story WRTV Investigates first brought to you in the spring of 2021. The neighborhood is Connor Creek near 116th Street and Allisonville Road. Homeowners voted to approve a special assessment that will cost each homeowner more than $25,000 each. Neighbors will pay an additional $211 a month in dues for the next 15 years. The money will be used to pay for projects including stone chimney and siding replacements, a balcony and landscaping. One homeowner has filed a complaint with the Indiana Attorney General's office alleging Connor Creek failed to follow proper procedure and allegation that the homeowners association denies. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny talked to the Attorney General's office about your rights as a homeowner and when the state can step in. More than 800,000 people in Indiana live in a community with an association. We have more than 5,000 of them in Indiana. Some homeowners say HOAs help protect property values by enforcing rules. Like how tall your grass can be and what color you can paint your home. The best way of thinking about it is your HOA is like a, a tiny government, right? Chase Holler is the section chief at the Indiana Attorney General's Office Homeowner Protection Unit, which oversees some aspects of homeowners associations. We get a consumer complaint that's filed against an HOA. We obviously take it very seriously, but we want to hear the other side of the story. The Attorney General's Office has received 42 complaints since 2009, alleging things like billing disputes. Records show many complaints are closed because the AG's office has no jurisdiction to investigate. Very specifically laid out in statute what we can investigate. Um, those are things like misappropriation of funds, um, fraud or criminal activity by board members, proxy voting violations, so circumstances where the board's not keeping adequate records in that regard, um, budget approval processes, um, and access to financial records. What can't your agency do? Often we will get complaints about things like, um, you know, the HOA is not cutting the grass often enough or maintaining the common areas, or it might be a personal dispute with, with a member of the HOA. Those are not areas where we have uh, jurisdiction. When it does have jurisdiction, the AG's office can mediate disputes among HOAs and homeowners. The attorney general can also take HOAs to court. They filed two lawsuits against HOAs since 2020, alleging violations of the Indiana Homeowners Association Act for things like failing to provide financial records to homeowners. If there's no other option available, then we, we will sue to uh, ensure enforcement. What we want to do is avoid circumstances where uh, people in a you know small position of power are abusing it. The state can't comment on the complaint against Connor Creek, but the state does have enforcement authority over budgets and special assessments like the one approved in Connor Creek. The HOA is supposed to follow that process in terms of how many meetings they have to have, how they present it to the members, and then the members vote. And how the members vote dictates um, you know, what action the organization is going to take. So as long as they followed those correct procedures, we're going to allow them to, um, to that process to exist for the benefit of everyone. Here's how you can protect yourself. Read the covenants and bylaws before you move in. Read these again before you do any improvements to your home. Have an open dialogue with your board members and go to the board meetings. And lastly, if you get a notice of violation, do not ignore it. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. The Attorney General's office has closed the complaint against Connor Creek. The office did not provide any further details on why it closed the complaint.